this tornado damage in Shawnee, Shawnee, Oklahoma. Tornado happened like a night or two ago. Shut up. Tornado happened like a night or two ago. Make sure nobody hits me as I back out. Tornado damage. Austin, well, Texas had a tornado damage. Y'all tried to cover it up. And then you still want to deny what, what's going on. Y'all still want to lie to me. Look, that's real tornado damage, guys. That's real. Tornado damage. Man, look at that. The mall's still standing for now. But what if another tornado comes through? No tornado comes through. What happens if you go to sleep, you close your eyes, and you don't wake up? And then you wake up in a lake of fire and grit your teeth, wishing you would tell the truth. What happens when that happens? I keep warning you guys, the Lord God is mad at you, and you keep saying, no, he's not. Then a guy in Ardmore say, no, he's not. Yes, he is. You don't sacrifice somebody. You don't do it. doesn't matter who he is. You don't sacrifice somebody, you dummies. Well, now, if you can do that to metal, what can a tornado do to a house? I know what it can do because because when I right after I moved from Georgetown to, to Dallas, it was like 1997. They had that tornado come through Gerald, and the whole they had left was little pipe sticking out of the ground, and all they had left was the foundation of the house. That was it, foundation of the house. That's what a tornado can do. That was an F5. That's what it did. F5. That's what F5 will do to you. You don't mess with F5. And I know one thing: when when God tells you to do something, you're supposed to do it. You don't want to deny God. You don't want to do it. Because he warned you, he warned you over and over, and you don't listen, then God does what he says. Just like with Moses, he, he, God tells you, God, God, God told Moses, go say this for now. Now, I guarantee you, if Moses was scared, I guarantee you he was. He didn't like talking to that Pharaoh. He didn't like it. He said, Pharaoh, I guarantee you, he was threatening his life. It's like your cops do to me all the time. I don't like it either. Oh, I hate it. I hate, I hate when cops get behind me like today. One of them was tailgating me. Right, right about Salt Creek, he was tailgating. He told me, I'm going to get you at Salt Creek when you pull over, because there's nowhere to pull over. I was going to pull over because I don't want him tailgating me. Anyway, oh, there's Shawnee Mall. That's Shawnee. That's how you know where Shawnee. Shawnee Mall. Tornado damage. Yeah. I think it's about all the damage we're going to see. But anyway, when God tells you to do something, you do it. If you don't want to do it, God's going to do what God's going to do. I'm not going to do nothing because I know you guys are just trying to make me mad. And you do. You make me mad. But I'm letting God handle it because I know God's real. I've witnessed things. I've witnessed miracles with animals and insects and weathers and plagues. I've witnessed it with my own eyes. And every time I try to tell mental health that, behavioral health people that, they stab me with needles. Say, that's not possible. Cops, they'll call mental health as soon as I say it. That's not possible. Sticking with needles. Everybody knows who I am anyway. I've proven it. Everybody knows who I am here. They know who I am all the way up to New Jersey. Everybody knows who I am everywhere I go. And you guys just keep lying to my face. You keep lying to my face everywhere I go. You just say, I don't know who you are. And you tackle me when you look. They're getting out here, coming up here. Everybody's coming up already. But you attack me with needle. You attack me and stab me with needles with handcuffs on. I want to see Heather Jackson. That better not be Heather Jackson. <laughs> I want to see her. Oh, that's not her. I have to put a phone down. I have to put a phone down. I can't turn there. I can't turn there. Look, they're standing out in front of me. Standing out in front of me on purpose to stop me. They want me to film. I don't want to film them. I don't want to film them. I got to keep going now. Now I can start filming again. I wonder how they like that tornado. Because they didn't like seeing my face as I walked through that mall. <laughs> they didn't like seeing my face when I walked through that mall. Like, oh, no. No, not him. That's that's what cops do in this. Oh, no. That's what they did at Union Station. That's what cops did at Union Station. Anyway, I'm going to turn the phone off because it's a long video. Bye.